Stampers. This is Eileen Judd from StampingMama.com. I'm here to show you how to do this um, fun shaker card. Although it's probably a little static, so they stick in there. And I is basically I'm casing this. I'm doing a little bit of different than than that one, but it's similar. And it's on page 64 of the catalog, and the actual stamp set is no bones about it. And it's on page 65 of the Anna catalog. And if you like a catalog, please head on over to my website, stampingmama.com, and request a catalog. Or click, click the link below. And product details and dimensions will be at my website, stampingmama.com. Search for dinosaur or no bones about it. And then search the um, web bar. And it should pop up. You can't find it. Email me and I'll go ahead and send it to you. Also, there's a link down below. This in the YouTube description. So let's get started. Before we do anything, we need to pull in the big truck. So we're going to use this. These are the Project Life framelits. They're really awesome for other things in Project Life. And so what we want to do is we want to run this do the big shot first and try to center it as best as possible. If you have uh, post-its around, you could probably use the hold down. I decided not to use my magnetic platform. Roll it through and Having this on paper makes it slide. Pop this out and save this later, maybe for a Project Life card. Who knows? Then we're going to take the thin die adapter off. See, this is a very well-loved machine. You use these uh, pads over and over again. And so what we're going to do, this is the Seashore Seaside 6x6 six six inch embossing folder. Um, these will not fit in cuddle bugs, so please keep that in mind. These only fit big shots. And hold down a big shot. There we have it. Our frame. Now I'm going to put the big shot away. We're going to take Whisper White cardstock, fold it down like that. Then I'm not gluing this down, it's just more of a placement guide. And then I'm going to grab. My sweet sugar plum ink. Purple dinosaur, why not? And place it to the right. Rub it in the middle. Ta da! That dirty part will be covered up. And I'm going to put this. Ooh, that's awesome. Let's see. 
I dirtied that up a bit, but this should be okay. Just be careful of not doing that if you don't want to do that. Um, I think I'll try to grunge it up a bit just to make it so it looks better. So I'm going to bring in the old olive ink pad and I'm just going to stamp one leaf as close to the entrance as possible and just trade off and we're only doing the top part anyways layer of them I see fit now bring in burn Go in here with a color pencil and then just go around so I can give myself a way to see this. This is the long adhesive sheet strips from Stampin' Up! And we'll take one at first. And I'll just go about a quarter inch around away from the corners and just grab another strip go around and around yeah, that should be okay. And then smoosh it down. And then let's close that up so it don't dry out. That's fine. Bring that over here. So what we want to do, and these are the um, Brights Collections sequence. And so what we want to do is pick through and find the greens in blues. Totally should have did this before the video, but what are you going to do? Life happens.
Now I would suggest that you glue some of these down, but since these tend to stick with the static inside anyways, don't worry about it. Um, I'm going to grab... Oh, my fast views. Just going to go around. This is a window sheet sheeting that Stampin' Up! sells. Just going to go around and... And I think of it, it'd be better. One, if I did this on the right side in the first place, watch me. Oh yeah, watch me. I'm bumpy side. I'm feeling smart right now. There we go. Now let's leave the sticky side up. It's all good. Just don't do what I did. My genius self. Let's see. I had my booger eraser. Could totally get that off. But I don't. It shakes. The upside, the stickies are in there. Some of them are sticking. Let's see if I can cover some of that stuff up. I'm gonna think I'm gonna put my sentiment in a different spot. I'm gonna bring in the sweet sugar plum and the have a terrific birthday sentiment. Dinorific birthday. Excuse me. And I'll grab my. Oh, where'd my scissors go? Scissors and just cut a little flag. Then. Use this and to cover up that goof up right there. Do that, and then I'm gonna grab a sponge real quick. And this is one way you can screw up an ink boo boo. Just Just go around. Grunging it up in, in the first place. Is there like a dirty jungle? No bones about it, right? I'm just, <laughs> and the name of stamps it. So that's nice and grungy. That's how to fix a boo boo. Put my scissors out of view. Sorry about that. And close up the ink. And then, oh, 
Genius Me, put the ink open up again. Uh, it's been a long day, folks, and brain doesn't seem to be working all that well. Let's stamp the inside sentiment. No bones about it. You're great! Now be careful where we bring that. So there you have it. A fun shaker card. Remember to head on to my website, stampingmama.com. Uh, please subscribe to this channel so you can get more video tips. And I promise you, I only occasionally screw up like this, so don't worry about it. Um, leave your comments below and have a good day. Bye.